Good evening. Good evening, Miguel. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Is my idea or is heating very hot? Oh. It's hot. It's hot. Hello. Hey. Hello, teacher. Good evening, guys. How Hello. are you doing today? How are you guys doing today? Me so far good, me. So far so good. Perfect, perfect. That's the attitude. Okay, guys. Um, I think it's. I, I think not only where you live, but in the whole country, maybe it's really hot because here in 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 Usulutan, it's really hot. Yesterday, it rained, so I thought it was gonna be not hot, that as hot today, and it's gonna be raining, you but just. You need visit La Unión. What is it? You could need you could visit La Unión. But La Unión, I'm sure it's worst, or it's not. So it is more for more 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 hot. It's more hot or hotter? Hotter. Okay. Okay. Yes, it's hotter. I know La Unión. It's 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 hotter all the time. I went. Um, I don't know, back in 2019, and it was, no, yeah, yeah, it was 2019, I believe, no, 2018, at the end, by the end of 2018, I went to the La Union, and I went to Conchagua first, to Espíritu de la Montaña, and then I went Conchagua, to, I believe, Conchagua. And, and then I went to El Parque de la Familia, but, oh, in Conchagua, the, the, the Espíritu de la Montaña, it was cold and it was a really good weather. But when we went down to El Parque de la Familia, it was really hot, like really hot. And you can feel yeah. the, 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 the sun of the sea and yeah, it was really hot. But the Parque yeah. de la Familia, is, it, it's, not, it's, a, it's a nice place. Saturday to Wednesday? The temperature is 39, 39, 40. 39, so very, very 40. Hard. Yeah, that's yeah, really it's hot. Static. It's so very hot. Yeah. Uh, in here, I don't know. It says in the thermostatters that it's 26. I don't believe it's 26 because I really feel like it's like 30. It feels like 30, 32, something around that. It feels like that, but yeah, 39, that's a lot. Maybe we get 39 here for the Holy Week. I don't know why, but the Holy Week is the hottest week of the year. I don't know if you agree with me. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's yeah. really hot. I don't, I don't understand why. But it's really... because because in Semana Santa is more is more hotter. It's hotter, yeah. I know it's hotter in in the Holy Week, but I don't I don't know why it's it's so hot. Just that week, and remember that the Holy Week some 
years is on March, some years is on April. It doesn't have like a established date. It changes. So I don't know, but every time that, that is the Holy Week, you're going to feel like it's really hot. That something that happens. Okay. Anyhow, we're going to continue with the class today. Thank you very much, guys, for being here. Thank you, especially to the ones that have the cameras on, because I really appreciate that you are here in the class with me. Um, Adriana, you're talking to us. Adriana está platicando con alguien ahí o nos platica a nosotros? Yeah, I'm sorry. Tenía apagado el micrófono o, o, o está hablando con nosotros, no. No, él es un mute. Ah, ok, 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 perfect. I thought she was talking to us. Ok, perfect. Now, uh, we're going to go with the date. So please type the date uh, on the chat. Remember, again, first letter of the day of the week and the month of the year is capital letter. Don't look for the date on the internet. Write the date yourselves. I can see your intentions. <laughs> okay, perfect, Sirhan. Perfect, Adriana. Perfect, Marcos. Thank you. Very, very, very good, good job. Wait a second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yes, yeah, Serhan, Adriana, and Marcos, very good. I'm still waiting on the other ones. Okay, Manuel Sanchez, perfect. Just remember, first letter of the month of the year needs to be capital letter, please. Er three classes away and then it's the end. So this class, Monday's class and Tuesday's class. Then it's going Monday to be Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday is the last day. Okay. By Monday, I want the platform to be completed, okay? That's gonna be the last day you have to complete the platform. It's always before we finish the module. Because remember, we have to do some processes to get your permissions or your scholarships for the next module. So that's why you need to finish the module, okay? Um, before we finish the classes. The platform before we finish the classes. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so nobody, like I have only five people sending the date today. I don't know what, what's going on, but only few people sending the date. Okay, Milton, again, you send it to everyone. <laughs> Try to send it only to English Corporativo, please. Perfect. Glenda, you're early with us. That's perfect. Thank you very much for being here and early to the class. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. Okay. <laughs> perfect now we're gonna um i'm gonna share the screen with you and we're also gonna practice the conversation we didn't practice yesterday because of the time uh let me see here so the date uh alex hako will you please read the date please Today is Tuesday, March 17th, 17th mm -hmm. um, 2022. Thank you very much. Now let's go with G -G Gavi. Can you please read the topic? Okay, uh, referring to time in the past. Perfect. 
So we're gonna be talking a little bit about time in the past. We already know how to use the past of irregular and regular verbs. Something that I noticed yesterday is that we are still practicing the past. Like for example, how to say worked and traveled, that you have to say the T sound or the D sound to um, talk about the past, the regular past, not the regular, right? The regular. So we're gonna be practicing that a little bit as well. Anyhow, let's go back to the conversation we were talking about yesterday. Oh, and the questions, right? The questions that you had. Uh, when was the World, World War I? And we answered that it was 1918 19, or 19, I don't know, 1918. I think it was in 1918 or 1919. 1918, teacher. 1918. Yeah. 1918. And the other one is, I don't remember. Well, let's see the answers. Yes, I told you. Huh? You have to look for the answer. They, they are on the internet. Wait a second. We want you to stay and listen. Sorry about that. It's been in existence. Okay, so the first one is, do you know when the World War I began? And we already answered that one. Number two says, how long has the United Nations been in existence? Did you answer that one? Did you look for that one on the internet? Anyone? Ha, huh, you didn't do the homework. Hey, teacher. Uh huh. Tell me. Okay. The World War and began in July nineteen forty. Nineteen fourteen. 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 Nineteen. Oh. Fourteen. Okay. War one one. World War. One. Because yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, that's true. Yeah. Archiduke killer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember because they killed the Archiduke of I don't know where, and that was what started the the the, the, the yeah yeah yeah. The German Imperium. Okay, okay. Yeah, I remember about the Archiduke. I remember that one, but I didn't know the date. Thank you. And it ended in 1918, right? It ended in 1918. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, anyhow, the next question says, how long has the United Nations been in existence? So what I can see here. In 1776. The United Nations, not the United States, the United Nations. Oh. The organization. Expulse. Exactly, yeah. The United Nations, like Naciones Unidas, exactly like that. So, former, or you will say former. Yeah, it was 1945. So if we count backwards, that will be 55 plus 22, 72 years, right? 72 years ago, the United Nations were founded, okay? So they have been in existence for 72 years, right? Since 1945 till 2022, 72 years, right? Yep, okay. And then how long were the Beatles together for? What is your answer, guys? 10 years. 10 years? 10 years. 11 ah, years. Okay. The 11 Six, years. 1960 to 1970. It says eight years, actually. It says the Fab Four were together for only eight years, from 18, I mean, from 1962 
when Rigo joined the band to early 1970s. Mm -hmm. So it was eight years. Yeah? From the 62 to the 70? No? I think the 1960 to the 19... uh -huh. Yeah, it was only eight years. So they were only together for eight years. Ah, impressive. I didn't know that. Well, let's go with the conversation. How long were the Beatles together for? If you really know. Remember to the pronunciation. I mean, pay attention to the pronunciation because then it's going to be your turn to practice that. For the answers, type them in. I'm good at history. Part A. Listen and practice. Look. Here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. All right. First question. When did World War I begin? I think it began in 1917. Huh. And how long has the United Nations been in existence? Uh, since Kennedy became president in 1961. Hmm. Next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980, so they were together for 15 years. So, how am I doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. If you can see here, so he's far away from the answer. He's saying that the world where one began when he was about to finish, right, in 1918. And then Kennedy, um, so the United Nations since 1961, and now, right, they were in existence since 1945, right? And then the other one, they started in 1962, and they broke up in 1970, so only eight years. Now we know that information. I didn't know that information. Well, maybe I knew, but I forgot. So now maybe I don't forget anymore. <laughs> I hope so. I hope I don't forget. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna practice this conversation, but before we go to practice this conversation, is there a word you want me to repeat the pronunciation? Nope, everything good? Remember yeah. when I'm... When I'm here, I'm speaking and speaking and speaking. But when you're in the break of rooms, it ju it's your time to shine because then is your, there's the time where you can practice and you can improve your pronunciation skills. So try to do it. I'm just gonna read this conversation once. So you have the pronunciation they gave you and the pronunciation that I'm gonna say. I think it's the same, not as much, maybe with another accent. Okay, look. Here's a quick a quiz on events of the 20th, 20th, 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. I'm good at history. All right, first question. When did World War I begin, begin? I think it began in 1917. Huh, and how long has the United Nations been in existence? Um, since Kennedy became president in 1961. Um, next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980. So they were together for 15 years. So how, how am I doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. Yeah, we're ready to practice. Yes. Perfect, did you take a screenshot? Because later you're asking in the WhatsApp groups, right? Hey, can you send a screenshot? <laughs> did you take a screenshot already? Milton, you're drawing on the screen. <laughs> I'm gonna delete. Yep. Okay, I'm, I'm yeah. guessing that's a yes because nobody's speaking. I'm guessing that's a yes. So I'm gonna send you to the breakout rooms. Remember, uh, in the breakout rooms, there can be three participants and then take turns to practice. It's, it's, it's better if you take turns, okay. So let me see here. I think this is good. This is good. 
Yeah, perfect. Let's go and practice. Take turns. Hello, Luis, what happened? Hello, good evening, sorry for late. Oh, you're late, okay. So your classmates are practicing a conversation in the breakout room. I'm going to send you to a breakout room so you can practice, okay? Uh, it's okay, okay. Perfect, there you go. Thank you.
Sixty-one. Mm, next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1918. So they were together for 55 years. So how am I doing so far? Uh, Miguel, 55 years or 15? 15. Ah, Sorry, 15 okay, years. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, look very well. Not one of your answer is correct. Oops. <laughs> okay. Next. Okay. I am and I'm Steve. 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 I, okay. Look. Look. Here's a quiz. Um. Even the. 20th century. A mí se pronuncia star. Is starting. Start. Please. Start. Started. It's started. 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 Okay. Started. You can say started mm -hmm. and you can say started. I like a little bit of a T, but it's better started. <laughs> started. Started. Okay, thank you. Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980. So they were together for 15 years. So how am I am doing so far? Julio? I, I don't listen to you. Is your, is, is your connection or my connection? Okay. I, I think is yeah, I think it's your connection, Alex, because I could hear him. Okay. <laughs> Re repeat, please, okay. Julio. <laughs> no problem. Well, they started started in nineteen. Look, here's the quiz of event of the century. Century. Okay. How long is the quiz event the twenty century? <laughs> <laughs> Twentieth. 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 Hey, I'm Emma. You're Steve. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. And the next is my turn. Okay. <laughs> Look, here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. <laughs> I don't even know who is Steven. Steve. <laughs> Steve. Ah, sorry. My class, my, ¿cómo se llama? Compañero de trabajo se llama Steven. <laughs> my partner is Steven. But, you but say, you can, Steve. Yeah, I'm sorry. You can say partner or you can say co-worker. Ah, yes, co-worker. Co-worker. Yeah, co-worker. That is like a partner, but of your job. Because a partner can be a partner in many, 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 many meanings. Many ways. Yeah. Okay, continue. Okay. Let me give a try. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to be Emma and Marcos, Steve, right? Okay. Okay. Look, here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give it a try. I am good at history. All right. First question. When did World War I begin? I think it began in 1917. Uh, one thousand nine hundred seventeen. One one thousand. Are you sure that's how we say the years in English? It's I'm not nineteen seventeen. Uh, yeah, I remember that the big years 
the numbers that are complicated in English, we say them in two parts, 19, 17. Okay. Okay. It's it's better to say it that way because you're not saying 1,917. Yeah, Milton, tell me. Uh, please, uh, how do you say 20? It's called 20. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, now, what is it? The pronunciation, 20. Of what? Ah, 20th. 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 No, 20th. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. As, as, also, it's 1961, and the other one is 1965, and the other one is 1980, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher, thank you.
Glenda está en una mecedora, por lo visto. Yeah, you can see that. And she's moving. I'm in, the, in, a, in, a, in a chair like this. And she's doing like... Right. Teacher, <laughs> ¿cómo pone esa pantalla toda que se vea así de inglés corporativo? Ah, that's an obligation I have to do. <laughs> And it's oh. on... It says pre-advanced one or pre-advanced two? It's pre-advanced pre one. Never changed. Okay, um, you have to go to uh, video, there where you have video, and then it says seleccionar filtro de video or seleccionar fondo virtual, virtual. I don't know if you're on a computer or on a cell phone. But if because, you can... because need a, need a chroma. A camera, yes, you need a camera, but you only need... Um, chroma, 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 chroma. What? Chroma what? color, chroma color. A chroma color? Yeah. What is that? It's a wall in green, no. black. Oh. No, I don't have one. I don't have one. Look, it's it's a great town. It's a great thing. No, it's not. Yeah, you don't need it. You only need the virtual background. Seleccionar fondo virtual and that's it. You choose it from your um, from your PC. PC. That's, that's all you have to do. It's everything you have to do. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna choose two people to say the conversation here because I noticed some problems with the pronunciation and I want to refer to those problems because I noticed, I noticed in some groups that you don't know how to say the dates in English, the years. For example, saying I was born in 1985. That's just an example, I wasn't. 1985, it's not that you have to say 1,985. It's you can divide a big number in two small numbers. Do you, did you know that? Yeah? For example, the World War One began in 1914, not in 1914. That's a long number to say. It's better if you say 1914. So remember to say that also in the conversation that I played here, the video that I played, they mentioned the dates like that. Okay, anyhow, I'm gonna choose two people right now. And I'm gonna choose people with the cameras off. Let's see who has the camera off. Ah, uh -huh. aha. <laughs> Ernesto and and Nelsi. Okay, Ernesto and Nelsi. Marco. Okay. okay. Let's see, are you going to start or do I have to do it? Okay. Um, yes, I'm sorry because I'm six. <laughs> I'm oh, sick. I'm sorry. Okay. Look, um, um, look, at, look, here's a quiz on, an, on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give let me give it a try. I am good at history. All right. First question: When did World War I begin? I think it began in 1917. Ooh, how long has the United Nations been in existence? Mm, since Kennedy became president in 1961. Mm, next question. How long were the, the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broke up in 1980. So they were together for 15 years. So uh, how am I doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. Thank you very much. Good job, Ernesto. Good job, Nelsie. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay. Um, now, 
just some, uh, this is 20th, 20th. Okay. Okay, it's okay. 20th like that. And this is one, in this case, this is the number one, blah, 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 blah. Existence, existence. Existence. Uh -huh. Next question, we just together, they started, started. Some classmates were looking for this word, it was started, right? So, blah, 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 blah. How am I doing so far? Perfect. Now, um, I'm gonna choose two more people with the cameras off, and that's gonna be Marcos and Gabi. Okay, and look, here's a quiz on events of the 20th century. Oh, let me give try it a try and good and history. 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 All right, first question When did World War I begin? When? I, I think it began in 1917. How? Oh. And how long has the United Nations been in existence? Hmm. Science Kennedy became president in 1961. Mm, next question. How long were the Beatles together? Well, they started in 1965 and broken on in 1980. So they were together for 15 years. So how um, I am doing so far? Not very well. Not one of your answers is correct. Okay, thank you very much, Marcos. Thank you very much, Gabby. Guys, remember this is inexistent. In six in existence, that's the first one. And this one it's read scenes. No signs is scenes. Okay, it's scenes. Now let's go with the next topic we have here. Wait a second. We're going to uh, learn time expressions to talk about the past. So for example, those ones that we were looking at right now, that is scenes, for, from, to. I think you already know some of these ones, uh, but you're, we're just gonna practice them. So we used some for like when the time ended, we use some other ones for when the time is already in, in, in time. For example, scenes, we're talking about something that still happens till this day, even though it happened in the past. Anyhow, let's watch the video and then let's socialize what we have learned. Okay. Or two ended. Hi, we want to go back in time. We will explain how we can refer to it. Don't go and stay for the explanation. Get ready. Referring to time in the past. A point of time in the past. When did World War II take place? During the 1940s. In the 1940s. Over 60 years ago. A period of time in the past. How long were the Beatles together? From 1960 to 1970. For 10 years. A period of time that continues into the present. How long has the United Nations been in existence? Since 1945. Since World War II ended. For about the last 60 years. When we want to talk about a point of time in the past, we may use the words in, ago, during. I will give you some examples using a timeline. Disco became a craze in 1975. Madonna was on the music scene during the 1990s. A period of time that continues into the present using since and for. The United Nations has existed since 1945. The United Nations has existed for over 60 years. Remember, we use since plus a point of time. Example, since last year, since Tuesday. And we use for plus a length of time. For example, for two weeks, for three hours. 
a period of time in the past using from, to, and for. World War I lasted from 1914 to 1918. World War II lasted for four years. Okay, so basically we're looking here at time expressions. The first one we use is uh, for a time in the past, a point of time in the past, so a specific point of the past. So we use in, ago, and during. So all these points that we have here, they already happened in the past. They don't continue to happen in the present. So for example, you have here, rock and roll became pop popular about 50 years ago. Like I said, 50 years, about 50 years ago. About, like to talk about around that time. Disco became a crease in 1975. In. That is to talk about specifically uh, a year. We can also use in for months. Madonna was on the music scene during the 19s, 90s, I mean 90s. Use 90s and you can say, instead of saying 1990s, you can only say 90s. And we understand that we're, you're talking about the 1990s. Then this is for specific points in the past. Right, ago, oh, also ago, about 50 years ago. So I was born 27 years ago, ago. To talk about how many years have passed since that, since that moment. Then talking about since, a period of time that continues into the present. So something that happened in the past, but still has an effect on the present. So we use since and we use for for those things right now. For example, the United Nations had, has been or has existed since 1945. So they still exist till this day. That's what they are talking about. They have been in existence since this moment. The United Nations has existed for over 60 years. So they have existed for over 60 years and they have been in existence since 1945. We use since when we know the date and we want to talk about the date. And we use for when we want to talk about how many years have passed since for the year, specifically the year and the date, and for to talk about how many years have gone by. Then, oh, this one. Remember, it's very important that we use since plus a point of time. Since last year, since Tuesday. And in contrast with the other one, we use for plus a length of time. For example, let's do a ex practical example. I haven't seen my best friend since last month. Since last month, I'm talking about this specific time, but I can use the same example with four. I haven't seen my best friend for a month. Do you see the difference there? I haven't seen my best friend since last month, and I haven't seen my best friend for a month. You can see the difference or not? With this example, I, do, I, I don't. Okay. So since last month, desde el mes pasado, for a month, por un mes, if you want to see it in Spanish. You get it now? Desde hace. Since is more like desde. And for is like for un mes, for un mes, for the hace un mes, hace un mes, hace un mes, for un mes. Yeah? Does it make oh, okay. sense to you? It's better? For yes. example, another one can be, uh, I haven't eaten something since 5 a.m. The other example is, I haven't eaten something for, I don't know, 16 hours you're going to mention the hours and then the other one you're going to mention the specific time in the past let's go with the next here 
Ba, 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 ba. Oh, from and to, from and to. This is also when you send a gift, it says from me to you, right? So from and to. From and to is when you're going to talk about the beginning of the of that situation that happened and the end of the situation that happened. So the world, the world War One lasted from 1914 to 1918. So I'm talking about the beginning time from, and I'm talking about the ending time with two. So I was in the school from 1999 to 19, oh wait, no, no, no. <laughs> I was in school from 1999 to 19, no, 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 19, no, 1999 was the beginning. So the end was 2008, 2008. From 1999 to 2008. That was my time in the school. Maybe you can talk about your times in the school. So send me to the chat right now. Try to remember when you started in the school, and the time you finish the school. And you're gonna make a sentence like this. Look. I was in the school from, this is my example. Of course, it's not gonna be the same for you. From, I mean, I'm sorry, from to 2008, like that. That is my example. Let's see your examples in the chat. I was in the school from 1999 to 2008. Okay, I wanna see your examples. So if I wanna say this in a different way, I was in the school for nine years. Like that. I, di I didn't go to kinder. That's why I didn't go to kinder. Para alguna gente puede ser diferente. Si fueron a kinder, le van a salir más años. Right. So like the big majority of you went only nine years to school. <laughs> you didn't go to kinder. No, me neither, I didn't go to kinder. I only did first grade, second grade till ninth grade. Perfect, I'm looking at your examples right now. I'm still missing some examples. I only have Luis, Sirhan, Gavi. Julio. Miguel, in the university, Marcos, what about the school? You don't remember? You're remembering our time in the school. Okay, so I'm just gonna have the única persona que me lo enviaron fueron Luis Aguilar, the only people who send it. Luis Aguilar, Sirhan, Gaby, Julio, Miguel, Marcos, and Alex. Okay, 
Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I will see you again on Monday. Okay. Remember you have until Monday to complete the platform. Yes. Yes. Okay. Have a weekend. good weekend. Have a good weekend. I will see you guys on Monday. Hopefully. Good okay. Night. Have night. a good night. Great night and good weekend.